So you've been looking in the Rockport, Texas, thinking about moving there, and you want to know where things are located at there. Well, you're in luck. That's what this video is all about. I'm going to take you to Google Maps, and I'm going to show you where most everything is in Rockport and what there is to do in Rockport, things, more things to do than just fishing. So, I mean, Rockport is a big fishing community. So, but anyway, we're gonna get to it right after this. So if this is your first time to our channel and you wanna know everything there is about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of Corpus Christi, Texas, or the surrounding areas like Rockport, Texas, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification so you'll be the first to know what's going on in the Corpus Christi market. Hi, my name is Steve Five Code. Our team gets calls and emails from people just like you every day looking to move to Corpus Christi, Texas, and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'll be glad to help you make this move move to Corpus Christi, Texas. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna go in. Okay, so here's Rockport. Let me kind of just kind of minimize this down just a little bit so you can see Rockport here. So Rockport, Fulton, Lamar, and Holiday Beach, they all tie together. They all go to the same school. Holiday Beach, Lamar, they go to their elementary school is in Fulton. And whenever they hit uh, junior high and high school, then they go to the Rockport Fulton High School and junior high, which are side by side here in Rockport. I'll show you those a little bit later. In Rockport, and you need to go to the Corpus Christi International Airport to fly out. You, you're you gonna come down 35, hit 181 into Corpus, hit 37, over to 358, then you're gonna hit 44 and the Corpus Christi International Airport, let me, went up too far, is right here. So it's right off of 44, right here is Corpus Christi International Airport. So that's just kind of, and, it, and it's, it's roughly right at about a 37 minute drive. And if you're going from Holiday Beach, Lamar area, it's a little longer, about 51 minutes because you're gonna be coming a little bit further distance. So uh, let's go ahead and hit the Holiday Beach area, kind of talk about it just a little bit. So Holiday Beach is separated by Highway 35. There's two parts of it. You've got, uh, you've got the St. Charles side, which is what I call it because it's the St. Charles loop that goes all the way around. Um, this side here from right about here down you are allowed to have uh trailer houses uh you can put uh trailer houses in there the soto on over you don't see very many of those i don't believe they allow them over that area so holiday beach is an hoa which which has a property owners association um it's not too bad they have their own water district on their own water out there and so this is the crossover you have the homeowners association property owners association right here and then right next door you have the swimming pool um holiday beach does not have a lot for sale in there right now not to say that it won't be coming up there's a lot of lots for sale in holiday beach so you know look if you're looking for a home or if you're wanting to build a home you're in luck because of most of this over here, you can find, I, I know on Hillcrest Drive and on North Side Drive here, you can find several, even on this one right here, which is Northeast Drive, um, you, you can find several lots for sale. There's not a whole lot over here. They do have a boat ramp over here for the property association members. Um, you can put your boat in and out over here. Then let's go on over here and let's let's check out Lamar. Lamar is a little bit uh, more spread out than than uh, than Holiday Beach. So this little subdivision right here, they're building new homes in there. Those range right at the four hundred thousand price range. Then you come on down. You got the big tree over here. Just a little stuff to go see while you're in Rockport. 
go check it out. It is an old, very old tree. Uh, then you've got Goose Island State Park. You've got the Goose Island uh, uh, Fishing Pier off of Goose Island State Park. There's a little fishing pier that goes out over here. Great little fishing area. Then right over here, uh, you have, this is the reserve lane and it's the reserve by uh, the reserve at St. Charles Bay. This all right here, uh, and I'm gonna switch it over to uh, satellite view so you can see it because you're gonna you're gonna be like, whoa, what what the heck happened just there? So we go over to satellite view, and now you see that it's got canals. So this is all uh, canal homes here, and there's still lots of lots for sale. There are a few houses over here. Most of the lots in this area are going for 400,000 or better. I mean, 200 and something thousand or better. The houses over here are a little more higher priced. Um, they are all on, like I said, everything that's gonna be here is gonna be on canals. There may be a few that aren't, but for the most part, then you got these over here that are not on canals, but this one here is, and it looks like they're gonna do some more building back over this way too, the way, the way it looks. So, um, and then you sh shoot out here, you come through right here, and then you're out into Aransas Bay into some really good fish and there's some good fish. This is all shallows over here. I will tell you it is shallow back up in here. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, Lamar is just there, just a small, Lamar and Holiday Beach, and there is a boat ramp right here too, uh, with the marina and all that stuff. Um, then you have right over here, let me get down. Uh, let me go back to regular view, view because I can see it better in regular view sometimes. So right here, you do have some canals. Every once in a while, houses over here come up for sale. Uh, I will be doing some more. Uh, I will be doing a vlog tour on Holiday Beach and Lamar. I have not done one yet. There's just not been a lot for sale. And I try to keep my vlog, vlog uh, uh, for those areas in a certain price range there I may have to include both of them together to get the price ranges that I want to get then you come across the, uh, the the causeway here right over here there is a fishing pier I mean a, a fishing area and a boat ramp so you got another place to put boat in and everything like that this over here this is all part of HEB this is their camp area then you've got 35 that goes on through. And then you've got Fulton Beach Road that goes on down. I do have a vlog tour on Fulton Beach Road, several different houses. Now Rockport does have an airport, but it is a, it's a private community airport. So you're not getting uh, main flights out of there. Come on down uh, so you can go around. This is off Copano Bay. This is all Aransas Bay over here. But you can come on around 1781. This brings you into Copano Village, into Copano Cove, uh, over here, and Copano Ridge over here. And then the back side over here, well, the back side over here is Copano Ridge. And then you've got uh, Rattlesnake Point out this way. I will tell you right here, they are doing some new building, uh, new construction. I have not found out what the master plan on that one is yet. I've been out there a couple times, cannot find anybody there. So I will do some research on that and update y'all on that as soon as I can. Um, let's go back this way. Here you have the Rockport Country Club. They do have a golf course and there are homes for sale in there and there is um, condos for sale so stay tuned i am going to do a vlog on the rockport country club and uh whatnot then you've got canoe lake area which is this area here there are some, uh canal houses here there are some lots for sale in here i haven't really seen a whole lot of houses for sale as much as i have in key lake grove key lake grove this is all key lake grove. i do have a vlog tour for key lake grove so this is all key lake grove right here most of the houses in here are on canal. There is a little private section down here. This little tip right here is all private. You have to have, you know, it's all gated community. Oops, didn't mean to do that. 
uh, gated community. This is Rockport Beach right here. So if you look, excuse me, uh, where is it at? There is a, believe it or not, there is a Walmart and HEB right here on uh, 35. And, and the Walmart's eluding me, but I see the HB. HB's here, but uh, Walmart is back this way. If I'm not mistaken, let's look here. HEB, let's go just a little bit bigger. Walmart kind of the way they got it set in here. But you do have Walmart and you have HEB on the on on the main 35 coming through. So there is a uh, plenty of uh, you know. So that way you can get your. Walmart, I do believe it is a super Walmart, so they do have a grocery store, and then the HEB is a grocery store. Uh, HEB is kind of the iconic state uh, grocery store for down here in uh, the southern area. Um, San Antonio down, there's there's not a whole, you don't see a whole lot of Costco's or uh, I can't remember what the other one that we, uh, we used to have here years ago, but you don't see anything much other than that. So, You've got the Rockport Beach area. You can, there is a road, an actual paved road on Rockport Beach. Uh, you can drive down here. You have the saltwater pool with pavilions, and then you have some other little pavilions over here. They ran out the pavilions. You can use them for, there, there you go. You can kind of see a little bit of a picture of it. You can rent out the pavilions for uh, weddings, whatever you want to do, uh, stuff like that. So, a little bit of everything, a little bit, a little bit of everything on the Rockport Beach over here. I'm going to go back to Fulton real quick just to kind of give you an overview on Fulton. Uh, right here, you have the Fulton Beach Park, which has a pier, and then you have the Fulton Beach or Fulton Harbor right over here. Uh, you got Charlotte Plumbers, you've got the boiling pot if you like boiled. Seafood, that's a great place to go. Just everything there is boiled. Uh, if you like it, they throw everything out onto a uh, butcher paper and you just eat it off of that. Um, then you got, like I said, you got shot Permer. Right here in this Fulton Beach Park is where they have the Fulton Oyster Fest. And they do the Fulton Oyster Fest the first week, week of March. So let me get rid of this. I don't know why that popped up again. But that being said, when this video is making, being made, I'm doing this in February, they're gonna actually have a, a Oyster Fest coming up. Uh, I think it's the second through the fifth, if I'm not mistaken, but it is the first weekend of March. Then you come on back down here. And then you've got, like I said, you got Rockport Beach. Right over here, you have uh, uh, the Rockport, uh, they have, it says Rockport Market Days. They do Rockport Market Days every third uh, Friday, every third weekend of the month. And they have different uh, vendors out there selling arts and crafts, stuff like that. A lot of handmade stuff and uh, a lot of nautical stuff too. And then this is where they have the Rockport Sea Fair, which they do that one in october if you believe it's the first weekend of october then you've got the rockport harbor uh several bait shops you come out right here you have the main uh south austin street you've got the main drag coming over to east market this is the old downtown where everything used to be at which is where everything is now they got all their you got different shops over here. You've got souvenir shops. You've got sell, shell shops, like once again, souvenirs. You've also got uh, clothing, uh, artwork, different different stuff like that. And then we come out East Market. Rockport. So Rockport is, is East Market is kind of, or Market Street is kind of a, the, uh, a little divide here. And then you go over here, you know, because you've got, you come on out Market Street, come out this way, and right here, you have, um, uh, da, 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 it's the Cooper, no, it's, uh, what is it called? Uh, Kate Valero, I'm sorry, Kate Valero out here. So, Kate Valero does have, you come, and it's a little truck out there. It's not a, it, you know, it's, it's a drive out there. But you're still, from here, you're still 15, 15, 
15 minutes or so to H-E-B or to the beach and whatnot, but you have all the marshlands out here. You've got the canals over here, and I'm gonna change this over into satellite view so you can kind of see it. You got the canal homes over here. Um, then you've got their buildings. They were gonna be building some new ones over here. Um, so you can get out and get over here and go out into, uh, there's Rattlesnake Point. You can get out here and go into Coconut Bay. If you want to, you can shoot over here to Fort Bay. Lots of different areas over that way. So let's get back into regular. So then we come on out Rockport. You know, we got Rockport there. You got the Texas Maritime Museum. You've got uh, got a lot of stuff to do right over here. A lot of stuff to see. Um, then you come on out 35. And then you've got Palm Harbor right here. You've got uh, uh, Bahia Bay, City by the Sea. But right here is a whole new subdivision that they're building. They've already started on it. So they they came in here. This is the Isles of Rockport. I'm going to switch it over. There's actually canals and stuff over here. Uh, and so you got some canal houses that they built in over here. You got some water side. This is the intercoastal waterway coming through. This is where all the barges and uh, stuff like that go through. But it looks like that they're going to open this up to right here, make this canal go on back further this way, go back over to here. And then it looks like they're going to open this up and there's going to be another canal running this way here. So that's interesting to see. I have stopped by there. I'm usually over there on the weekends, so it's uh, usually over there on Sundays. So it's hard for me to catch somebody at the thing. I need to go over there on a Friday, Saturday and catch them at the office and, and get some uh, pictures and information on the, the full uh, scheme of things. But if you notice, Rockport's real close to Corpus Christi. You want to go over to Corpus Christi, you can. It's uh, 30, 30 minutes from the airport, 31 minutes from the airport. You want to go to the malls, you're probably talking another, and you're probably talking about 40 minutes to get over the malls. You want to get over there and go do furniture shopping, clothes shopping, stuff like that. It, everything on in Corpus Christi's on uh, on SPID, which is 358. You hop over there, you go check it all out. But I'm gonna tell you something. You want a beautiful place to live. Rockport is a beautiful place to live. There is lots of stuff to do there. They're always got something going on. Um, so uh, I would encourage you to check it out if that's something that you're interested in. You want a little a little more. Coastal living, easy back streets, small living. There's only a population about uh, 10,000, a little over 10,000, uh, not quite 11 uh, in Rockport. It did climb up there for a little while and then it came back down. It was it was at almost 11,000 back a few years ago, went down a little bit and now it's starting to climb back up. Uh, I figure probably in another year or two, it will be back up and do the 11, 12,000 uh population and that's rockport fulton holiday beach and lamar all added together like i say if you look there is a lot of areas over here that they still got room to build and new communities that they can put in like i said they've got a couple of them going in right now uh it is a great little area to live in but other than that hey keep keep an eye on the channel if you like what you see uh, hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification so you'll be the first to know what's going on in the Corpus Christi market or in this case, Rockport, Texas. I will be doing some more vlog tours on that, on the area over there. We'll be getting y'all some more information out, out there. Uh, until the next video, y'all have a wonderful day. If you need to any, ask any questions, you can ask them in the comments below. You can call me, text me, or you can set up a Zoom call. We can sit down and talk, and that way you can meet me face to face, and I can meet you, and then we can get everything going. What you want to uh, get everything get the looking at what you want in that area. Until then, have a wonderful day. See you next time.